Hello there, so maybe you're interested in coming to Germany for your postdoc. So if you are, and especially more in the ecology, environmental sciences area, then you may find this video helpful because I want to go through the different um, funding mechanisms and funding sources for postdocs in Germany. So this is going to be divided into two groups, similar to um, a similar video that I did for a PhD student funding in Germany. I'll put the link to that in the description below. This is going to be divided into uh, grants that are funded and the other one is uh, fellowships that basically you get, you apply for. So probably the most common way postdocs get recruited um, to the lab and also other labs is that there is a grant that was funded and that contained a uh, postdoc position. So this can be from DFG, Deutsche Forschungsgemeinschaft, or BMBF, Bundesministerium für Bildung und Forschung, or um, can be EU grant, or anything like this. Uh, once that position is funded, then these positions are, unless there was a specific person that you know, started writing the grant with us and is specifically named in there, which is not so often the case, it's advertised. So it's advertised on the university webpage, so-called Stellenanzeiger, so for open positions. And we put it on our lab webpage, and I usually announce it on Twitter, and then maybe some other outlets where these ads get sent to, some lists, for example, for jobs. This is the normal case, then you, you just apply for these positions. If you met the requirements for the position, you make it interviewed, and then you make it offer the position, and then you're hired as a, as a, a employee of the university, basically. These positions are usually two to three years. They're rarely shorter than two years, and sometimes they are longer than three years as well. The other uh, way these uh, postdoc fundings become available in Germany is that the, the state-funded positions, like so-called house positions, they come with a teaching load. They're typically filled for five-year intervals, and uh, these are not grant-funded, but they are funded directly by the state. Typically, labs don't have very many of these positions, and given that they have a fairly slow turnaround time, they become rarely available, but when they do, of course, it's a good opportunity to apply for those. And then, of course, you can also take you, the matters in, matters in your own hands, basically, um, some funders uh, most notably the Deutsche Forschungsgemeinschaft, so DFG, they allow you to write a grant and basically ask for your own salary money in that grant, in something that's called eigene Stelle or self-PI. Now this is a certain module um, that you can apply for in normal uh, standard grant format of the um, DFG. And that's of course a, a very good way to get you fund it um, because you can write your own grant, so it's a, a standard grant format, so like 15 pages or so of a project description. It's typically for three years, and basically what you can ask for is, next to funding for supplies and, and uh, equipment and all that, is your own position. And then there's a couple of programs that are more targeting um, people that are on their route towards uh, P PIs. So they are uh, basically still postdoc funding, but they are uh, sort of right at that, at that interface towards an independent PI. And there's a couple of these programs. And uh, the program of the Deutsche Forschungsgemeinschaft is called Eminöter. So this is basically funding you and uh, some positions with you to have your own independent research group. From the EU, it's the European Research Council um, starting grant. And then um, there's also some opportunities like that from Volkswagen Foundation. Um, they all have specific requirements. Very often people apply not to one, but to uh, some of these because they have relatively similar applicant profiles. They're super competitive and of course very difficult to get, but of course if you get those then it's very good on your CV and you can basically um, form your own little research group that's funded that way, including your own position. Now this is the grants, either you applied for them or the PI of the lab that hires you applied for them. And the other mode of funding is basically fellowships. Those are things that you apply for and that they're they are usually they are typically awarded to you, not the university. And Germany has some excellent programs in that regard. There is the Alexander von Humboldt Foundation, for example. This is a, is a really spectacular program where um, postdocs internationally 
are funded. Um, you can go to the webpage and find out the various programs that may apply for you, depending on your career stage and also the country that you come from. Uh, it's a very competitive program. And uh, all of these programs, of course, have in common all these fellowship programs is that you still need to write like um, um, a research outline of what you're going to do. Right? You still need to do that. It's not a full grant proposal, but it's still a project that you have to design and, and think through and what would you do for these two or three years. So um, Humboldt fellowships are, for example, excellent opportunities and um, as an added bonus and you can find out more on the web page <laughs> also is that you basically if you have one of these fellowships you, you have um, you have the opportunity also to have a lifetime membership of the Humboldt Foundation in an alumnus network so it's uh, it's a really great program. Um, in a, a similar level of competitiveness is the uh, Marie slodowska um fellowships of the um, EU I think they're about as difficult to get as the Alexander von Humboldt uh, Foundation fellowships. There you also have to write a, um, a research proposal, of course, uh, that uh, outlines what research you would do. And there is many other specific components of uh, that application that are specific to the EU and for which you typically need help. And usually the host institution has a department that helps you uh, with these applications because they are they are non-trivial uh, to write. Those is also very competitive, of course, but if you get those, they are great. And then there's also um, other programs, for example, from the German Academic Exchange Service, Deutsche Akademische Austauschdienst, or DAAD. They fund a lot of doctoral students, but there's also postdoctoral programs, and you have to go online to find out if your country is eligible. And then you can receive also postdoc fundings from the DAAD. It's also a super organization and a great program. So good luck with obtaining your funding for a postdoc. And if you're in Germany, please come by and say hi. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.